and we are live hello there hello i am trying out the new mic that you might have seen for the last few videos which i'll admit it hasn't been great but i have played around with a few settings i found this really cool video now I'll try and put up in the highlights of this video because it really does help if you are trying to set up your mic for videos for recording last week we spoke about the x-men mansion and we can speak about that if there's anything else that's come out i know a load more people have seen the gift with purchase they still haven't announced it which is really interesting because the set comes out or well, the set comes out in about a week or two but we got to look at another set which is the botanical garden which i'm sure we'll talk about in this video but first let's pick the set that we will be breaking down we do have the giant 80 a a the 880 down there the 80 80 80 e if we combined all three of them but if we don't get through this bag don't worry next week's stream will not be the same as this we will be building something i can't say what without giving too much away i don't think but we will be building a few some things and it'll be a really fun build it's not any particular theme in general there is a theme to the buildings but we will be getting a few things done and that is based on what's happening next weekend last week i added i've turned on monetization for these streams monetization is basically on for everything on youtube but i was trying to find a way to turn off the automatic ads if anyone knows please do let me know in the chat how to turn off the automatic ads i will try to do it next week i'm not sure if they are on i know i can run an ad whenever just like this i know it doesn't run for everyone so i'm not going to say anything important whilst the ad pops up a lego exam would be really really cool i'm i'm pretty sure there is somewhere that will do a lego course i guess it's almost architecture with lego it depends what you're building i don't think Star Wars ships could class as architecture. I, I don't know if I am a procrastinator. And I, I apologize for the delay in the comments. Like with the minifigure scale Star Destroyer, if you aren't aware, I am making a minifigure scale Star Destroyer at 100k subs. And I've had a few other people comment other things I can do to get around it. And there's been actually a big push for the Star Destroyer to be a Venator. I think the Venator and the Star Destroyer in general, there are size differences in terms of a lego build i think they're a lot more similar than a lot of people realize but back to procrastinating i think i just get sidetracked i'm not a procrastinator i just i just get way too sidetracked the minute i'm working on minifigure designs for wednesday's video which i again talked about last stream i'm not going to bring it up again i'll it's close enough that i can build the suspense for the wednesday video but it's going to be a really fun video, I think. Not Star Wars related. I know I've done a lot of Star Wars custom minifigures. But I want to get out into a few other themes that are quite not popular. I don't think they're as popular as Star Wars. I don't think there's much as popular as Star Wars in the Lego space. But Marvel, you've got Ninjago, I think, is actually up there with Star Wars in terms of it being a Lego-owned theme. Well, there are some classic themes. I, I do think it would probably be more Castle Space and Pirates popular because of their short-lived themes i wonder if they were if they kept making sets of them and if they weren't as rare as they are because the orange spaceman was exclusive to a book that come out quite a few years ago we got the lego movie 2 battle pack come with pink pink and yellow no yellow and white come out before i think it was just pink that was exclusive to that but then we got the black classic spaceman which was exclusive to a few old sets and then come out in an exclusive i think it was toys r us 2015 set i do wonder if the themes kept going would they be as popular perhaps we need something like this year we've got a load of space city sets friend sets and creative sets the creator not not quite the free ones but just the creative boxes like they've done with that if we had a year of castle I think that would be pretty cool. They're not quite ambulances, police cars, and the more modern toys. But then they go and make a whole year about space. Next year, we've got the F1 partnership, which is going to boom. And I'm sure we'll see that across a ton of different sets. We've already got these speed champions, which have a load of different F1 cars and, well, just cars in general, speed champions. It's somewhat self-explanatory, but 
I'm curious to see if we're going to get a ton of Formula One cars in city themed sets. So rather than the eight wide cars we're seeing, perhaps we'll see a little track set or something. They, they have brought out a new road recently. It'd be interesting to see if they could incorporate into a set. I know the road sets were quite expensive, so perhaps it'd only come with one or two. There's a few sales as well on lego.com. I know it's coming up to the Black Friday holidays and then Christmas and then New Year sales. And before long, we're going to be speaking about May 4th already. I do want to get the Iceman from the X-Men Mansion. And well, the Iceman and also one of the Daily Bugle minifigures that I do want to pick up is the Firestar because of, you all know, you watched last week's stream. I watched the Spider-Man show with them both in growing up. So that was my Spider-Man animated show. There's a lot of Star Wars things we've had that haven't come through and have either been, you know, cancelled or perhaps they're delayed. Some of these, I'm sure, are still being worked on, a bit like the Lego Harry Potter game as well, which, if that's anything like Skywalker Saga, that could be really cool. Uh, I think it was Harry Potter. There are rumours of it being Batman instead, but there's no reason they can't work on a Batman game as well, because the Lego Batman games, we spoke highly of them last week, on basically keeping the theme alive because the Batman sets aren't too grand when you take a look at them compared to the other themes like Marvel especially. Marvel definitely takes the superhero cake of Lego themes. I don't think there's really any leaks that can be wrong based on purely the fact that Lego can be working on loads of sets, hundreds of sets, thousands of sets even. Millions is pushing it a little bit too far, but they could be working on hundreds and thousands of Lego Star Wars specific sets every single year. And only a handful of them will actually make it out into stores, on shelves, onto our displays and onto screen for you on YouTube even. Because I know a few unreleased sets have made it onto the platform, especially looking at someone like uh, Duck Bricks who does enjoy collecting a few of the rarest sets. But onto the Star Wars leaks. I usually do, and I think I, I think I did last month a leak video. Recently, I have been styling it a bit differently. A lot of the sets that people are predicting will come out next year. There's about a 50-50 chance, you know, that I've already made some sort of build on this platform, on, on this channel, on YouTube. Leaks in general, a, lo a load of leak accounts and people that try and post them on Instagram and YouTube. A lot of people make videos and they're very clickbaity videos which is why I stopped because last month I did it based on the sets that I've already made the month before I think we looked at oh two or three months ago we looked at the advent calendar before it come out and I was saying what if they are leaking all the other sets coming out next year the arc 170 is well that that's that's the set that I want the wolf pack the not the Wolfie, but the Wolfpack clone to come in. With the Arc 170, Plo, technically in Revenge of the Sith, had his 414th, or his 414th, the Wolfpack. The green clone troopers always completely elude me. Plo technically had some unnamed, they weren't the Wolfpack, they were just, they, they were just green clone troopers. And we've got the 41st, we've got Doom. So they sort of fit in with the other green clone troopers of Revenge of the Sith. I was having a discussion with Baloney Clones, who I got most of these custom, in fact, I think I got all of the custom clone troopers, even up to the Commando and Purge Trooper. Really good videos, and you can check them out on the channel. Basically, wherever you see custom minifigures, there's a solid chance they've come from Baloney Clones. But Plo Kloon had some, Plo Koon had some green clone troopers in Revenge of the Sith. It's in one of the Revenge of the Sith artwork books from the Time. Canonically, Plo Koon should come with some green clone troopers. That's that's what I'm trying to say, which would be awesome because I do have a Commander Doom and I could probably edge them into a Doom mock. I'd rather have the Wolf Pack. It would be cool to get a... Well, we're going to need two pilots for the ship. Hopefully we get two pilots. I don't fancy picking up two of them just to have two pilots. I think what we could have is two pilots. Plo Koon, I guess if they're including a droid ship, probably probably a droid in there as well. I think two pilots, Plo Koon and a wolf pack trooper would be cool. But if we don't get a wolf pack trooper in this set, a wolf pack battle pack would be quite cool. A while back, a few years ago, for the Rise of Skywalker Falcon, 
which is the only time I've queued up outside a store before opening to try and find. I went into Audi and I got told that they didn't sell any of those sets in Audis or as far as they knew. They didn't have any of them, which is it, likely just unlucky. They were only in a few Audis and only got a handful of them to put out. But it was quite a popular Audi. There weren't really any other, there weren't any bigger ones nearby. So it was interesting to see that, you know, you queue up, you're one of the first people in and then they don't have it. Perhaps that's just why it was on sale. They only had a few of them to give away. But it was an awesome deal. £80 for the Dark Falcon. I would have loved to pick it up. And now for Black Friday, that is my limit. If I see it drop anywhere near that £80 mark, I think I have to pick it up. I think, I think everyone will have to be picking it up. I know... We'll get a load of people buying it to sit on it and sell it on Bricklink because the figures in it. Decals. Have I tried decaling? Technically not. All the decals I have made aren't actually decals, which probably means I could get around not saying the word, but I, I do because I say differently every time I make a video on it. I use stickers, basically. I have vinyl stickers. I have regular paper stickers. And I sort of combine the two to make it shiny like printing and stuff like that and i'm still working on improving that i'm a bit hesitant to start using them it's quite a complicated process and it is better for well i don't need to focus it you can already see it on camera there that the face sticker is sticking away from the face it's just flat water slide decals do stick to the plastic a bit more the only problem with that is it's a longer process for these i print the stickers then i cover them with a vinyl sticker to make them appear shiny protect the actual sticker whereas with water slide decals you've got to use the clear coating over the top to protect them and then you've got the whole application process you've got to leave them in water it's, it's only like 30 seconds it's not really hard to do if you are interested in decaling, definitely give it a go. It's something I definitely will consider doing in the future. So perhaps I need to make another hairpiece for my Sig Fig with a, some sort of headband on it because I've been wearing this in a load of videos recently. Now, at the minute, this is for the Bricklink store. Still nothing on the Bricklink store, so I might eventually just try to sell them as sets, perhaps, or add them to my parts and then use that for something else. I have considered starting a well i've got a whatnot account but started selling my figures on whatnot we've got like 20 odd star wars figures i'd need a lot more for a whatnot stream i tuned in to brixie's whatnot stream the other day because he did he did quite an early one i'm normally not awake for him but i was having a little look at what some of them were going for and it was like the the 332nd clone trooper or something like that and they were selling for like 30 plus dollars and i know there is a difference of the exchange rates and if you take something like the jubber sale barge we'll get into the little trick in a second but if you take something like the jubber sale barge which here in the uk is priced at 429 dollars and then on the lego website if we look at the usd is 499 now if you think that is a lot and you haven't checked out the australian in australia the jubber sale barge is a whopping total 799 and the reason i have been able to cycle through the currency so easily is because it's lego.com slash for me en dash gb and all you need to do is take the gb into us for us dollars da for canadian and vice versa if if it pops up ENCA or perhaps you aren't even reading the lego.com in English because that will change the first bit. So the first bit is the language, the second bit is the area code. GB is for Great Britain, US is for the United States, you've got CA for Canada, AU for Australia, PL for Poland, and for Europe, I actually use France's, which is FR, but you can use any other area code. I only remember France's because euros tend to be the same everywhere the great snow blizzard makes a great point aha and that's nothing to do with them being a member though i have heard if you join the membership your lego iq does double as soon as you join you don't have to wait for any sort of delivery it's, it's what i've heard i can neither confirm nor deny legally i have to say that it's up in the air but 
I have heard it, but he said it will be interesting to see if the sequel trilogy gets a revitalization. Ooh, first time. Like the prequels, I think we've seen that quite recently. We've seen a bunch of Star Wars creators. I'm not going to start listing them off. It's a very dark side of YouTube. I know I was one at some point, hated on the sequels and made up all these stories because quite a few people didn't like the sequels it wasn't their star wars disney didn't try to make it their star wars disney made disney star wars and i i think a common theme with remakes is people don't like change we see it with lego sets we see it with helmet holes we see it with the eyes right now it's eyes it's pupils and it's rubber capes pupils and rubber capes are the big things now people don't like the change people like what they're used to and they want to keep it that way. It's interesting to see how the opinion has changed. I don't think the opinion has changed. I think the vocal majority has changed. And I think that is all for today's stream. We've got through most of the bag. I have that Sarlacc is really, really big in the bag. But I have a few other little magazine builds. I'll get that done throughout the week. And next week, we will be building something it will be themed it will be fun and i hope i can see you all there i hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe all that good stuff execute order 66 on that like button make sure you are subscribed may the bricks be with you always